Hello everyone and welcome back to the House of Bricks with State of Decay to The Walking Dead. Um, I have fallen a bit behind on my streaming schedule at the moment and it's late in the week so I figured I would just uh, do a few videos today. I'll try and get a couple more videos done over the weekend to help me kind of get back to where I want to be. For now we are going to... We're going to go and take a look at a plague heart. Um, although we do have a mission first. I have these two. Big old shovel, big old shovel, big old shovel. Uh, I think I'll go with this one. Let's get it repaired. Also, I think these will be fine. What other weapons do we have? We still don't have too many weapons. It's been a little while since I played State of Decay, actually. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4. A bit of Far Cry. We're going to go and talk to these guys. Hopefully we can get over to them. Without dying or having them die. And we have a lot of materials. So I guess we can upgrade... A couple places. Maybe build some new facilities. Uh, I want to get us in a new base. Which is why we are going to have a look at taking out some Plague Hearts. Now, I don't know if there's any bases on this map that I haven't been in yet. I'm not sure if I've been in this one. I don't think I've been in this one either, but we don't have the, we don't have the uh, influence for this one by, by a long shot. We might check, check, out, bleh, check out Camp Kalenqua. And uh, first of all, let's head over here. Don't suppose I have a toolkit in the back. And we could sell some of this gear. One bite kills, ladies and gentlemen. One bite doth kill and one scratch it takes off nearly all your bloody health too so I would like to say a quick thank you to all of the new subscribers for subscribing to the channel the channel's had a little bit of a mini explosion as of late so please always remember to check the links in the description if you want to know what are the series? What are the uh, videos we've got going on on the channel? Loads and loads of content for State of Decay, Fallout 4, a few other games now. And uh, keep, an, keep an eye out for live streams. Which I try to run every day, but I just haven't been able to lately. Let's go get some of this gear sold. We've got a little, little bit of time before um, it gets too dark to do a play cart. Anything we want. Flashbangs, sledgehammer is a decent weapon. It's only 95 influence too, we'll take that. Take the 556 five, rounds. Gun two. Only 50 influence. Alright, now what do we got here? Got a no one. And we've got a sharpshooter. So only one of them wants to join. Oh, it's the whole enclave. Never mind. Then let's do it. Okay. 
Who's this? Tingly. And Perry. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly. Oh, shit. She's gonna die. Oh, fuck. Well, we'll just leave her to it. It's... It's one of those things you can't, um... You just can't control in the Walking Dead mod. They, they do tend to get killed a lot. On the way back to base. You can cheese it. If you log out and log back in. They will teleport back to the base. But I try to avoid doing that sort of thing. Unless... Unless I get, you know, like if I got a mechanic there and I really desperately wanted them to be in my community. Then maybe I would cheese it a bit, but we're okay. Okay, we can let her go. What do you got there, Tingly? Yeah, maybe I'll take your frag grenade. You can go back to base on your own. And we are going to... Uh-oh. We're going to head out to where our new base location is. And, um... Clear a couple of play carts. Sheesh. Got to watch these, uh... Zombies now. Yeah, we're right across the map. It is starting to get a bit late in the afternoon, but we should have time to do at least one. I don't have any fire, and that's a problem. But at the end of the day, all we've got to do is take out the heart. And that will be sufficient. Probably didn't really need to upgrade my... Uh, Oh, I suppose it's not going to hurt, is it? Upgrade, upgrade my workshop. I mean, if we if we die and we fail with the play cards, at least we'll have an upgraded workshop to use. I have no problem with using the Bounty Broker too for some gear. We can buy the Echo Repeating Crossbow. As well as a ton of other weapons. Okay, is this where we're going? Okay, the, the two plague hearts are actually... Oh, there's only one plague heart. Okay, cool. Well, this is dangerous. Where would this plague heart be, I wonder? Gotta be careful here. Or we'll end up stranded with no vehicle. Found the play cart. Honestly, this shouldn't be too hard. But, you know, it's the Walking Dead mod, so. Oh, yeah, okay, I forgot about uh, runners. that we don't have any fire kind of concerns me
Yeah, well, that scratch wasn't as bad as the other one that I was getting. Nice if there was a repair kit in this uh, this play cart. Wouldn't it be lovely? Wouldn't it be amazing? Damn it. Well, that's good. Well, not really, actually. It is good, but it's not good for us right now. In this mod pack, oh, there's no there's no real threat from. Plague, so... Okay, we'll do the base thing at night, I think. We're going to go and do another Plague Heart while I'm in the mood. It's always nice to try and chop through a couple plague hearts, you know, just to kind of keep the series moving to a uh, a relatively ordered conclusion, as in not taking. Oh damn, we're tired. Well, okay, well we do have a seconds here, so that's kind of an essential stop for us right now. Yeah, I think we're okay here, guys. Um, yeah, let's just go and do the base now. We do have a hostile enclave nearby. Very nearby. Oh, I have used this base before. Hmm. It's a little bit annoying. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to use all the different bases on the map maps. Um, although I didn't use this base very much, this was the one I, I used in the the Growing Threat Lethal Zone playthrough we did very recently. Lethal Zone Ultra Modded. Which took us over into the dark side, into the dark zone. So maybe I'll use this one again. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't use it very much. Remind me, I forgot to check that spawn mod as well to see if it was installed correctly. Because these zombies, the way that they're spawning in like this, it's supposed to be different. 
They're supposed to all spawn in at once. Instead of in stages. At least I've got a Willy Pete. 14 home sites. Jesus. Let's hope we don't attract a whole horde in here before I finish doing this. It'd be cool if this place had resources too, wouldn't it? Like lootable resources. We've got some zombies remaining apparently. like he's outside. God damn it. then so we have our new base let's get some things cleared up I suppose seating area is clearable gives us some materials oh shit what's going on outside everyone okay let's go fix up our car Where did that one come from? Oh, this is the one we destroyed? Okay, well, we'll fix up one of these other ones then. zombies around here. Okay, so we got in just in time before the darkness consumes us. Wow, okay, interesting. I don't think this was our vehicle. So there is a little bit of a... It's not a glitch. It's just because we have the deposit from anywhere mod installed all the vehicles across the map are registered as parked so when you move a map uh, when you move base the game scans for vehicles that are registered as parked and moves them with you so it luckily for us it has found one of the vehicles and it's given it to us which is rather nice so we'll leave that one across there um just deposit all these since we're at the base. We'll let him keep that. Food's low, is it? 
Why is food low? Oh, because we just recruited new community members. Well, in all honesty, we should probably um, keep, keep these so we can build better facilities here. Because we can't build all of these now. So obviously there's a mod in here that removes the leader requirement for these items. Which is rather epic. Um, should I build a farm? I don't see why not. Although, yeah, we don't really need an armory or, or even a field hospital. Although field hospitals can craft stims. But we do get a lot of stims from... Um, we get a lot of stims from the... The things, the play cards. So, yeah, in the Walking Dead mod, you don't really need to worry too much about those bigger resources. Can I build like a Red Talon workshop here? Command Center 3. Well, let's get this upgraded and we'll build a Red Talon workshop. Honestly, I mean, free power and water, it's not really necessary when we've got water. I could build a generator, couldn't I? To give us power. Alright, we can't build, we can't use, do that yet anyway, so. So we've got Perry and Tingly. Perry Tingly. Medic, gardener, bartender. We've got three medics. Let's take these guys out since they're newbies. Uh, we do need to do something about the food. Oh wait, we've got a farm being built. I well, I could make another one. I didn't realise you could make parts in a forge. That makes sense. I'm wondering if I should just build another farm. Solar array. Haven device. Well, not necessary. Maybe I just build another farm. I can build a small hospital, can't I? I think I'll do that. All right, let's get her geared up. Chemist, I'll keep an eye on that. We have two play carts, we do, right next to each other. Yeah, well this will be interesting. Also, this is a cheesy one, so... Hey, what, let's not. For the sake of this mod, because I always do... I always cheese the cheesy ones. I don't think I've ever done a non-cheese heart playthrough, so... 
Let's not cheese the cheese hearts this time. Instead, let's legitimize the cheese hearts. Did I not have any stims? Like, stim stims? I must have deposited them. Oh, well. See how this goes. This is one risky biscuit, guys, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first death. Did you see that thing lunging through the air? That is how quickly it happens. Sorry, Tingly, I know she was your friend. All right, okay, so... Clearly doing play cards at night is out of the question. Really. Um, that motherfucker. I didn't even hear him. It, her, it. I wouldn't mind going back to get my, uh, well, we need to go back and get the car. But I shouldn't do this without any items. The amount of times I've done that, just run out emotionally, reacting emotionally. Build an infirmary, yeah, well, I suppose that's, uh, how do we... Six minus three, yeah, well, I guess so. We, we did have an extra one, didn't we, but... Food, outpost one, mend. I can just upgrade the farm. And then, yeah, I'm going to do it. And that way we have the extra labor. All right, that's good enough. Uh, where are we? Yeah, that's how quickly survivors disappear in an instant. A literal instant. No, at this point, I'd be happy to sacrifice this car to get the other one back. So... Zombie spawns are up, guys. Got a few hordes as well happening here. Oh, nice. Cargo van. Wow, okay. 
Um, are they faster than us? They might be, you know. They fucking lunge, though. That's the problem. Oh my god, this is really dangerous. I need to get out of here. It's going to damage the car a bit, but... Alright, we're not doing play cards at night. It'd be doable if there weren't runners everywhere. Runners that can lunge. Definitely not doing it. Okay, what have we got here? Wandering Trader. Mysterious Wandering Trader is a miles away. We don't have much influence, do we? 400, okay. We'll go have a look at the Mysterious Wandering Trader, because they do sometimes have stuff that's worth it. I'm going to start letting myself use the markers at night. The whole reason I'm not using markers is because I want to learn the maps more, but it doesn't make a difference in the daytime, in the nighttime, because I can't see a thing anyway. So I have no idea where I am. I'm not learning anything about map, the map in darkness, so... Plus it stops me having to open the map every three seconds. And Tamazin, what have we got here? Firearms, mental... Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, medium vehicle. Did we need that? I don't know if they're heavy or medium. Are they medium or heavy? I'm going to buy it anyway. Because we can always just get a medium vehicle. So, I guess we need to kind of officially recognise that play carts are off the uh, off the agenda at night time. Materials? Um, well, we don't have any on us. The infestations are growing.
So the way I find myself always playing this mod, it's like fast pace, you know, instead of sneaking around stealth, which is what you would probably do, I find I'm often... What's going on here? Is that one actually... Already looted. Uh oh. Oh shit, this is really dangerous. Yeah, so, uh, like I, I was about to say, shit. Um,. I find myself just running in and running in and out quickly to get what I need, as opposed to like stealthing, which might have been a bit of a smarter approach. Now that I think about it, this time I just thought I didn't even think about there being zombies on the inside. If there's runners here, you know. Fuck's sake, man. Just loot the damn box already. Okay, forget about it. He keeps trying to grab stuff. And I've got no more energy items, so we're out of here. Like, seriously out of here yesterday. Oh, I'll tell you what. The difficulty's picking up here, guys. A little bit. I'm out of here. Just get out of here. Forget about it. Okay, let's go back to base. Let's re let's reassess. I'm not playing this game properly at the moment, I can tell. It's been a it's been a few days since I played. And I've lost my mojo a little bit. And I need to slow the hell down. Or I'm gonna end up getting multiple survivors killed here. Oh my god, zombies everywhere. Get off please. I do have a repair kit in the trunk, I think. But I don't want to get caught out, especially in plague territory where there's loads of runners. Kind of caught me off guard, that one. It's been a long time since one of those runners got me like that. Where they leaped through the air in silence. I didn't even hear him running. No corpse here, so we've lost that gear for 
from now. Oh, it's light. I only assume this one is light as well. Get in that one. Oh, that's the one that exploded. Did I repair this or not? Did I already repair it? Oh, yeah, I did. I was going to say, I confused myself there because I, I was going to upgrade it, but I shouldn't have tried to upgrade it after I repaired it. Just run it the other way around. Oh, tell you what, it's real, real warm in this room where I am. I'm just going to take a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now that we're home, let's get a little bit more gear on us. Then we'll think about what we're going to do. I'm going to slow down. I do that to myself often. I get myself kind of all worked up to go and kill play cards. I, I get myself in the zone. And then inevitably I end up overlooking, overlooking things, getting people killed. It happens. A lot of infestations. Oh wow, that's that's a that's a bad morale, isn't it? We've lost forty there because of these this death, which was absolutely not my fault whatsoever. By any means, I disagree. I disagree. It was not my fault. I can hear you. I can hear you. And your argument. I just find your argument is invalid. It wasn't my fault. At the end of the day, if that zombie had never bit us. We wouldn't be dead so anyway what are we gonna do i think we're just gonna scavenge i think we're just gonna go on a little god there's nowhere here is there oh dear lord we're, we're actually in an area of the map where there's nowhere to get loot okay well i mean there's there but really at night time like this I want to walk 200 meters down the road. I don't think I do. This doesn't seem wise. It's not. I'm not doing it. Not having it. Problem is, I'll just end up using loads of resources. So I'll tell you what. Let's go to bed. We've done a bit of wandering in the darkness. Let's just go to sleep. Alexiana did not sleep well. Trauma was not removed. Right, now that we can see. Let's go do a play cart. Yeah, I got myself in the mood for this episode before I showed up here. I was like, I'm going to focus on killing play cards today. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we don't have a chemist, but we have a chemistry book. So, Tingly here has just become our chemist, which means we can now craft energy drinks. Quite a few of them, too. Eight of them. What, since they're so cheap, mind you, they're not cheap. We just used a bit of food there, didn't we? Let's 
Yeah, I'm going to build another farm. Oh my god. Oh, because the food's low. Sheesh, man. It takes five minutes. Can I build another farm? Just build another farm. Use one food takes 15 minutes. Seems a bit, uh, seems a bit silly. I want a workshop. When I can afford one. Actually, I want, um, want this. Okay, well, we're not going to be getting that anytime soon. Let's go take out these play carts down the road. This is a lot of zombies. Uses a lot of resources, this strategy, doesn't it? Don't think we got a bit. didn't get bit but we fell right next to the play car and just got slashed oh. well it sorts out our food problem come on Doug it's your turn to step up mate oh my god our morale is probably death isn't it wow Frustrated for how long? Okay, then it's your turn to go out, Andrew, if you're gonna be a whining you're gonna be a moaning Myrtle. A whining Winifred. So we can't repair. We don't have the facilities. Tell you what, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood to mess around. So let's not. Let's not mess around. We're not messing around, guys, okay? We're not messing around. I've said this once before. That it's this and it's... I'm proving my own point again. What I'm doing now is how I is how I lose always lose the most characters. I rush, you know. I 
I don't take my time. I just rush out. I rush to get play cards done. And it's it's proving the same old point. I think the first ever No Chill Challenge series ended quickly because of this strategy. And I'm doing it again. Funny how these old bad habits come back around to bite you in the butt cheeks. the runners isn't it the runners are really getting me if this was all shamblers if these guys were all walkers wouldn't be a problem Gonna end up badly, isn't it? Yeah, walkers I can handle. Two characters in one episode. It's the way of the world, I guess. It's the way of the world. Let's go have a look what gear we got. Not terrible. Oh, I put away my weapon. Okay. They saw me from over there. God, there's still two more. I knew they were going to jump on the car.
Oops. That didn't go as planned. But when does it ever go as planned, ladies and gentlemen? When does it ever, ever, ever go as planned? Two, three. Oh no. Yeah, we've got a hero. Our first hero, so that's gonna up the spawns even more. Um How to get out of here safely. How to just how about we just try? This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, bad, bad. bad. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, I really should probably not do what I'm about to do, alright? You heard me say it. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I had enough wisdom to say that, but not enough wisdom to follow my own wisdom, okay? like this house. I didn't knock him over. It's new. One more. On. Would you follow me outside, people? There's a party out here. Looks like the AI is getting a bit tangled up. I love how they're actually blocking each other a bit. It's actually helping us a lot. Because there's so many of them, they're blocking each other in shit. Right, this, the game's definitely ramped up the spawn levels, as you can see. Okay, two more hits, maybe three. Three more hits should do it. Okay, I did a bit of a better job on the car this time. Only slightly. Okay, we are out of here. We'll come back to that later. Just in time for the end of the episode. That was a close one. Well, it was it was closer than close because we lost two people. They were two brand new recruits though, so I'm not that bothered about it. You know, like we've we've basically started the episode in the same place. I mean, we've ended the episode at the same place we were when we started. 
which is with the same amount of recruits, but we've got three play carts dead. Four? Did we do four? We might have done four. No, three. We did three, didn't we? Let's get these guys away from the base. See, these guys, it's no hassle. Look. Like, they can't even really catch up to you when you're just going normal, and you have a chance. You have a chance to fight these guys. Oh. Come on, son. Those runners are absolutely brutal. Okay, so when we return, I will uh, we'll loot. We will do some looting of our play carts. We may leave that till night time. That, that could be something that we could do at night. Uh, in the meantime, we kind of just need to keep pushing. Pushing on slowly. There, there is no real rush. I just felt like it in this episode today. To come home, uh, to come in. And just murder some play cards, you know? Like, I just... I was in the mood. I was in the mood to tango. And we tangoed. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we're still in the same position. We've still got exactly the same people we were... We did at the start of the episode. <sighs> the, the base... Oh, okay, we're good now. So, we've... We've cleared our crazy bad morale. We should take care of some infestations. I imagine there's quite a few of them now. Yeah, there's only three. So next episode, we'll, we'll probably focus on infestations. Gathering these. We did do three. We did three. We can promote a leader because... Andrew here. Words of comfort. Offers encouragement via the radio. Well, that's always nice, isn't it? You know, that's the kind of skill that I think people overlook in life. But in all honesty... Words spoken in your ear at the right time in your life can, you know, can really actually change the, the entire trajectory of your life as a whole. Our food is great. We're actually in the positive. Which is rather bloody brilliant. We'll also upgrade this, I think. Um, I want to get this upgraded too. So we've got a little bit of a plan for where we're at. I'd like to build a Red Talon workshop. Because the mods make it so you don't have to have the, fa the, the the pieces, whatever they're called, the parts, prefabs. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are, we're doing okay. We're still above board. But as you can see, and as you have seen, it's very easy to be under board. Not above, but below the board. And uh, it's so easy to lose lose characters. Especially from those runners. Especially in pitch black darkness. Especially, especially fighting plague hearts. So, uh, all right. Please remember to check the links in the description if you want to know more about uh, what we've got going on on the channel. All of the playlists and all of the videos, most of the playlists are listed there. Uh, thank you to all of the new subscribers, everyone who uh, is recently subscribing to the channel. And uh, thank you to those who watch. Really, most of all, thank you to everyone who watches because that is ultimately that's the most important thing. You're watching the videos, you're liking the videos, you are subscribing to the channel and it's amazing and thank you very much. Okay, so... Kind of feels empty, doesn't it? You know when you say it all the time? I'm not going to say that in every video. I've just decided. I've gotten into the habit of kind of starting to say it lately in every video. And it's like, when it just rolls off the tongue like that, it's almost like, are you really feeling what you're saying there? Are you really expressing how grateful you are when you just repeat, repeat it in such a fluid format? So anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. I do appreciate all of the new subscribers and everyone watching. Um, it's making a big difference in my life at the moment. So thank you very much. 
and I hope you'll join me for whatever is yet to come. Bye-bye for now.